Kansas City, Gospel 1590, 106.1 FM. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show. Turn your volume up and let the word to God pierce your soul. 1590 a.m. on your radio dial and 106.1 on your FM, pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory Radio broadcast with Dr. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. It's great to be here in the ra- on the radio once again. You're listening to the Morning Glory Radio, um, uh, uh, Morning Glory Radio Show, which is the, the radio ministry of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church, located at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri. Where me, myself, uh, Bishop Adam Blackstock, and my lovely wife, Prophetess Adrian Blackstock, are. Uh, the co-founders and pastors of the church, and uh, we'd love to have you uh, fellowship with us uh, of, during COVID-19, of course, online, uh, Wednesdays at uh, 7 o'clock. You can find us on Facebook Live. You can find us at uh, live.gbfic.org. You can find us uh, on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash gbfic, and on Sundays at uh, 10.30, same place uh, for us to be found. Prophetess, uh, uh, I know uh, we're going to have a, a fun time tonight. Uh, we have a special uh, Prophet's Corner. Why don't you tell us about that? Hey, Amen. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day. Once again, I'm looking out of my beautiful bay window in Grandview, Missouri. So I am loving and enjoying this time. I did not have to leave the house. So this Tuesday, we will have live broadcasting from the Prophet's Corner, my special guest for our tabletop teaching and prophecy will be no other than Dr. Margaret Wright, and it will continue on for the entire month of May. So there are different special guest um, speakers that are lined up. And so when the Father spoke this to me, it was just to be able to hear from those what the Father is saying, and I'm just... You know, I didn't put them in a box, and give them any theme. Just want to hear what um, these women of God that God um, spoke to me to bring on um, these Tuesdays during this month. And it probably will continue on. You know, I'll probably switch it up and have some of the male leaders that will be there. So I'm excited at 7 p.m. tonight. You'll be on Facebook. You can get the GBFIC app or the YouTube um, for that so we can be able to just hear what the Father um, is saying. So we will start directly at 7 p.m., so get your tea, your coffee, um, get your Bible and your pen, and join me at the Prophet's Corner, kicking off tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. I look forward to you being there. Yeah, amen. That sounds like it's it's a great time, and it's it's good that we can hear uh, from uh, the prophetic voices, and especially during this season, um, that we continue uh, to uh, ride uh, the COVID-19 situation uh, out. Uh, I know God is doing something. We had a wonderful, wonderful anniversary-type service on uh, on Sunday. Uh, it was our res- regularly scheduled anniversary, church anniversary, so we just kind of uh, powered on through and had it uh, online. And it was so interesting. It was a, such a blessing. Uh, we uh, we even zoomed in uh, all the members from around yes. the uh, around the city, 
and they waved at us and showed us. We uh, had our son call in from uh, Miami, uh, and we, of course, we had our uh, children here call in. It, it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. But God, God used you to speak a word on the showers of blessing. And uh, I want to hear about that a little bit more, but I do want to uh, also Bishop, caution. Bishop, let me say, I want to, I can't, before, I, before you move on, special thanks to Glory Bow Fellowship International Church. Yes, absolutely. A tremendous, awesome job. And I don't use the word awesome, you know, um, haphazardly or what have you, but I just want to say thank you guys, um, not just because of the anniversary um, just the anniversary, but through this whole entire time, the leadership team, the the lay individuals, everyone has really been working together as a team in faithfulness, amen. And it just shows what God can do when everybody is on one accord, one heart, and one mind. And so I really want to thank you. I know from Bishop as well that you have made this time um, very easy so we can see the word of God that has came forth that um, tells you know, that speaks to the pastors, and it also speaks to um, the sheep in reference to um, making it easy for the leaders and that we are watching over your soul. So I, during this time, it has really been a blessing to be your to be your pastor, you know, a co-pastor, as well as a prophet. No, no, I don't say that very lightly. <laughs> Amen. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our heart. Yes, uh, I second that emotion. I it was such a blessing, uh, it, and you guys had surprises upon surprises around every corner. Uh, you you uh, you uh, made uh, uh, you made yourselves look so good in the eyesight of the Lord. I mean, it was such a that was what I call a Jesus class, amen, uh, amen. Uh, experience in such a powerful way. You guys really showed out, and it was a blessing. Uh, uh, but. Before we get into the showers of blessing um, a message or in, uh, encouraging word that you gave the church and you're going to share with the, the body of Christ, uh, I believe because it's necessary that the body of Christ hear it, uh, uh, I do want to uh, ca- uh, caution uh, our radio family, those that have friends and families in the Kansas City area and in major metropolitan areas across the United States. Um, I know in the state of Missouri they may have uh, loosened the restrictions uh, for um, the stay-at-home order outside of Jackson County uh, and outside of Kansas City. Uh, but we still need to be careful. Just because he relaxed the uh, stay-at-home doesn't mean all of the previous things that kept you safe are thrown out the window. We want you. Uh, uh, we we want you to still, when you're outside, wear a mask. When you uh, inside a, a store, uh, use social distance and wear a mask. Wear some gloves if you have to. Uh, sanitize. Wash your hand for 20 seconds. All those things is what made the difference here in the Kansas City area compared to other areas of the state. Uh, I'm saying that because I've I've already seen this weekend we uh, we went at, we went out and uh, gave uh, uh, give those, distributed those masks out to the homeless. And uh, while driving around, we saw many, many, many people in large groups gathering without yes. masks or without any social distancing um, going on. And that could um, truly um, stymie the, 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 the health system here in the Kansas City area. And uh, it's just not good practice. Right now, we should still be following good social distancing practices. I know in Kansas City and Jackson County, they're going through through May, the still May 15th. So um, we still want to be uh, cautious, especially now uh, as they start to relax. We have to be more uh, diligent in protecting ourselves. Amen. Amen. Lord. So, Prophetess, uh, I, I know I alluded to it earlier. Uh, tell us more about this uh, showers of blessings. That you spoke over the Glory Bible Fellowship, and it's such a powerful word. I, I would like the our radio family and people in the Kansas City area uh, to get the same word that uh, they uh, we got on Sunday, but for them. I, I, I know 
uh, I know it's a, a word that they, they need right now. Amen. Well, um, it, this, this word comes from Ezekiel 34 and 26. And so sometime in April, um, the Father began to speak to me, you know, like it says, you know, April, what is it, April rains, brings, you April know, showers, showers or what have you. But he was just telling me yeah. about the month of May. And he spoke to me and said, showers are blessings. And so as I began to hear from him and to put, you know, the word with the scriptures, um, he began to speak to me. And in Ezekiel 34 and 26, and it says, I'm reading from the NLT, I will bless my people and their homes around my holy hill, and in the proper season I will send the showers they need. There will be showers of blessings. And so even in the midst of this, I think it's so timing that, you know, sometimes you can get so focused on, on the trials and tribulations, the situation that's going, going on around us, that we forget that God is still God. We forget that God is still in the blessing business. We forget that God still is a God of joy, of prosperity, of health, and of wealth. Amen. And so he wanted to just come by and to remind us that he's releasing showers of blessings. And I received so many confirmations um, on on this because I spoke this over in April, and our spiritual father, Pastor Parsley, I turned, you know, got to listen to him um, Sunday coming to church, and I'm like, Hey, he's hijacked my word. But what? Because all the prophets, regardless of what region you're in, are picking up what the Father is saying. And so those that have an ear to hear, let us hear what the Spirit of God has to say. So that that we take forth and we decree and speak out our mouth. And so I'm saying to the body of Christ, decree and receive what God is saying. That May will be your month of showers of blessings. Amen. Bishop, I was thinking about, as I woke up this morning, um, you know, the old folks used to say, give me my give me my flowers while I'm living. And so my, my children all know that I like um, cut flowers. I'm not that good, but, you know, keeping up with those potted plants, amen. I say my anointing, you know, um, has a special touch so they don't last. <laughs> but just think about I'm giving you a prophetic um, assignment to go out and purchase flowers for yourself. Don't look for nobody else to do it for you. Um, even if you, maybe you got a neighbor that has some beautiful flowers, ask them, hey, you know, your flowers are beautiful. Could I have one of those? Bring it in the house, put it in the glass or a vase or what have you. And so it will be a, a speaking to you that God is reminding you to end the month that he's releasing showers of blessings. And then Proverbs 10 and 6 says, the godly are showered with blessings and the words of the wicked conceal valid intentions. So God says, despite what wickedness is going on, the godly are showered with blessings. You need to say out of your mouth, I am the godly. And then what does that say? Because I am the godly, I God is showering me with blessings. The word of God also says that the blessings of the Lord make if you rich and it addeth no sorrow. It make if you rich and it addeth no sorrow. Proverbs 24 and 25. But it will go well for those. My God, who convict the guilty. See, and, and, and even in the midst of all of this, he's still there. The Holy Spirit still is going to bring conviction. He will convict the guilty. Rich blessings will be showered on them. Now, Bishop, even when you don't get it right, if you are quick to repent because you have been convicted, God says, I'm going to still bless you. Right, right, right. And, and that is where we as the body of Christ have to get in the right position. I, I, I love that because I want to be rained on. I, I, I don't want to be uh, drizzled on. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want to be, uh, what's that, uh, yesterday it was missing. I don't want to be <laughs> missed it on. I want to receive full-blown showers of blessing. So uh, I, that means I need to be in the right position. I need to uh, uh, have. I need to see the atmosphere right. I need to uh, ensure uh, that everything that I'm doing is, is making it uh, possible to get the largest rain uh, in, in, over my head. Uh, so you know, um, I believe that God is uh, doing something supernatural. You know, uh, in the farming season, they do this from time to time. When it's a drought. Uh, they fly a little higher 
and they seed the clouds. Mm. Uh, I believe that there's a time and a season that uh, you might be in a spiritual drought. You may be in a physical drought. You might be in a in a physical drought. Uh, a God saying uh, this, you need to make your atmosphere the the right uh, atmosphere for some rain. God is going to uh, uh, send you the the spiritual rain uh, that you need. God is going to send you. Uh, what you've been asking for, the showers of blessings Amen. shall be upon you, but Lord. you need to be in the, uh, what What good are showers if you always in locked in a closet because you're not sharing uh, your experience. You don't get wet if you, if you stuck indoors. You need to go ahead and get, and get rained on for a season. Glory. Bishop, that is, you know, when I just think about that, when you say it's um, locked, that even with us going out, as you're saying, too, there's so, right now, remember, we're still in the time of the 50 acts of kindness. We're getting ready to come up on the time of Pentecost. And the body of Christ, you get in the community, we are on, you know, on one accord. There's so many, you know, so many. You look on Facebook, you look, we're getting texts. Um, and I posted, I said, I'm being so spoiled by my husband and my church family, that I'm going to need deliverance when all this is over. Amen. Because we can feel the love of God. We can feel the love of God coming from people. And what God wants to continue to take place at, that even when there's not a catastrophe or a disaster or calamity that is affecting the entire nation, that we as the people can continue to walk in love and to show love. That is what, that is what when we come out, that we're going to be able to see that will continue to come forth. I mean, neighbors um, that you are, you know, uh, when they're coming out, you get to see them, they're speaking to you. We're what? Showers of blessing. Not just think of even as uh, from the monetary um, standpoint. I am decreeing as a prophet of God and as, and I want you to take communion. We took a congregation, we sealed it, we took communion over the seven areas that God is going to bring showers of blessings in. That is spiritually, that is mentally that is emotionally, that's financially, that's socially, a, a socially um, as well. And so all those areas, those seven areas you want the God to be able to pour into your life and the physical blessings um, as well, the social blessing, the sexual um, blessing. Some people say, you know, probably why you say sex, because many people we just left out of um, Sex Abuse Awareness Month, and now we're in a, a Awareness Month, and so now we're in a month of mental illness. Some of you who have been abused, you know, sexually, God wants to bring showers of blessings in that area of your life. Those of you that's been struggling with um, the spirit of perversion and lust, God wants to bless you in that area. He don't want that area to be distorted. So we want to receive in all seven areas, ramifications of our life, I am decreeing that there will be showers of blessings, that you're, you'll be spirit. People look at you and say, that. That's something different. You've been blessed spiritually, um, but even physical. Some of you that are dealing with physical ailments. God wants to heal you and deliver you in the name of Jesus. For no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against you, it shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. God is a good God in spite of what is going on. Hallelujah to yeah, the Lamb amen. of God. Amen. I, uh, I I love what how it reads in the uh, New Living Translation. It, it says, "And in the proper season, I will send the showers they need. There will be showers of blessings." I believe that uh, uh, this season right now in Kansas City is the proper season. I'm, I'm prophesying right now to anybody listening on our radio family, anybody that's going to listen to this as a as a podcast, anybody that's going to listen to this uh, later in the day, I'm prophesying that this is the proper season for you to receive uh, your showers of blessings. The, 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 the skies are opening up for you. Uh, your miracles are, are raining down. Your deliverances are raining down. Your healings are raining down. Your financial breakthroughs are raining down. Salvation for multiple generations is raining down. I, I see showers of blessings coming uh, to you and your family uh, in this season. I don't want you to miss it. I, I, I don't use an umbrella. Just go out there and receive your shower of blessing. 
I don't want anything that's going to disturb my shower. Hallelujah. I'm going to get the whole blessing, so I receive it all, and I prophesy that you shall receive it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Prophetess, I, I, I know we got about seven minutes left. Uh, uh, you got any more of this juicy nuggets uh, for Good. the? Uh, uh, well, I have a. Um, I want to read. This is an old hymn as a um, to just really so we can seal seal this in. And I talked to the praise team. And I want them to, you know, put their own twist on this. Those of you, I'm getting some of my um, Titus too. They're on a on a, on a chat text line to me, and they're prophesying back even to me in the text line, saying showers are blessed. Shout out to Sister Anne Marie, Amen, that is listening. Mm-hmm. So, and some of them probably would know this here. Hallelujah! Um, it's an old hymn, but I'm going to read it as a poem. Amen. And it says, "There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love." There shall be seasons of refreshing sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops around us are falling, but the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again. Over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain. There shall be showers of blessings sent them upon us, O Lord. Send them upon us, O Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing, come and now honor thy word. There shall be showers of blessings, oh, that today they might fall. Now as as to God we are confessing, now as on Jesus we call. There shall be showers of blessing if we but trust and obey. There shall be seasons refreshing if we let God have his way. My God. I want to read that 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 fifth stand one more time. There shall be showers of blessings if we but trust and obey. There shall be seasonings refreshing if we let God have his way. Amen, amen. I love that. I love that, prophetess. We need to we're going to learn how to sing that, I believe. I think we're going to get that <laughs> during this season. Uh, that that just tells me that this is the season I, the prophet um, Elijah said, um, go make a feast because mm-hmm. I, 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 there's, uh, uh, there's an abundance of rain coming. Uh, and he said that during a drought. God, God is preparing you in the midst of your most driest moment to bring you the the biggest blessing, My God. And, and and we just have to be prepared to receive it in this season. Uh, I, I'm I'm so excited what God's going to do. I, uh, uh, it, you know, you could just feel the the Jesus bumps all over your body because you know God is going to do something powerful. Uh, you know, this this is the time when uh, I believe it was Jacob that continued to dig wells. Yes, yes. Uh, during uh, uh, a drought. I, I, uh, and, you know, to be honest with you, I believe that God uh, is wanting us, in the, our, the faith warriors, faith believers, faith, the, those that walk it in supernatural faith, to stand up yes. and be accounted because uh, they, they, there is such good things that can happen during the season, this is when um, uh, uh, people are receiving God's word more, Amen. right? Uh, uh, things are, are changing their attitude toward uh, how they receive God and, 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 and how they become open up to God. That's a shower of a blessing of evangelism that's happening. And, and maybe you've got – a lot of people might not recognize it, but I recognize it, that God's word is spreading supernaturally throughout the land faster, quicker, at the speed of light. Glory, glory. Bishop, when you, you know, just even speaking that we're talking about trust, it reminds me of Proverbs 3. Um, I want to read it um, starting at verse 1. It says, My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years, and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. We're saying that right now. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. 
then you will find favor. Thank you, God, for your favor. We're both God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. Sometimes we forget about that, amen? You want to have a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your bonds and grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. Amen. Amen. That's so powerful. I love that text. It still uh, works. Um, still works today. Uh, God, is, you know, God is doing such a, a super, a supernatural thing in uh, people's lives right now. Uh, our radio family, our, our church family, uh, have um, seen uh, miracles throughout this season uh, when uh, people would think there's, it's a dry place. And, and I don't believe it to be a dry place. I believe it to be a supernatural place where God is a breeding ground for supernatural miracles. Um, and, and so, uh, Prophetess, uh, just give read that scripture, one the, the original scripture, showers of blessing. I want our radio family to keep hearing it, keep hearing it, keep hearing it. Showers um, of blessing, Ezekiel 34 and 26, I will bless my people. You need to say, I am God's people. I and am their God's homes people. around my holy hill. I'm prophesying some of you are going to receive new homes in the name of Jesus. Uh, around and our holy the hill. proper right? season. Yes. This is my season. Say that. This is my season. Hallelujah. This is my season. I will this send is the showers. proper season. They need. Yeah. There will be showers of blessing. Now, you know what? When God said they need, I was just looking up the word to lose. If you need a deluge, amen, he says what you need. Your neighbor may only need a miss. Like, he knows exactly what you're needing, Amen. Because if your yeah. ground is already fertile, God ain't going to just pour out an overflow on you of a deluge because you know what? That'll mess your ground up. Hallelujah. So mm-hmm. wherever you needing, God is going to give it to you in this season, your showers of blessing. Mm-mm-mm. I, I say, in Jesus' name, I'm going to receive showers of blessing. In Jesus' name, I'm going to receive showers of blessing. Mm. I, I think we got about 30 seconds left. Uh, join me tonight. Join me tonight live. Find us out there on Facebook. Uh, go to the GBFIC app. Join me at the Prophet's Corner tonight. We kick it off with Dr. Margaret Wright, and we're going to have some teachings and prophecies going forth to bless your life. The spirit of revelation will be in activation. Amen. So, of course, we always end every program the same way, and we're not going to change. Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900. Hello, this is Jan Raven, President and CEO of Swap Health. Reminding you to please practice these five steps to protect you and your family from coronavirus. One, wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Two, cough or sneeze into your elbow or a tissue. Three, disregard that tissue right away and wash your hands immediately. Four, avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. And five, and lastly, stay at least six feet away from others and continue to practice social distancing. Please visit swaphealth.org for more information. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Caring about Kansas City, Gospel 1590, 106.1 the game is about to start. Get your face out your phone. Just a minute. I'm completing the 2020 census. <laughs> Why do you care? Listen, the census will impact how and where public funds will flow in our communities each year. If we're counted, we'll get better funding for our schools, even affordable housing. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm going to complete the census now. <laughs> All right, then. Let's take a shot. Complete the census online, by phone, or by mail. Shape your future. Start here at 2020census.gov. Paid for by U.S. Census Bureau. Hey, what up, everybody? It is your boy Playmaker here for Slim for Life. And summer is fast approaching, and some of y'all are ready to lose that weight so you can have that beautiful.